But you know, I, the question I always say: some people say, "No, I'm born an entrepreneur." Uh, you know, is is there is there validity to that? I mean, can anybody learn that? Can anybody anybody learn to guess? Become? The tools of of being sex, sex, successful, the tools of the, the planning system I teach is a combination of things, none of which exceeds what you learned in the fifth or sixth grade in elementary school. Mm. It's just a combination of linguistic, language, skills, and an organized way of thinking. Mm. It's no more difficult than using the outlining program in, in Microsoft Word. Right. So any, every, anybody can become an entrepreneur? Anybody can. Okay, okay so any, anybody can have the life you have lived. As a matter of fact, most people know somebody yeah. who they think isn't too smart right. that's doing very well in business. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, being successful in business does not, it's not rocket science. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a lot of brains. Yeah. Yeah. It takes... What, what does it take? I mean, It takes a commitment. Well, for instance, in, in Hawaii, we have many immigrants that, can, yeah. that have come from different American conflicts right, around, right. and most of them are Asian. Yeah. Where I grew up, they were 70% Asian. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've grown up more Asian than anything. Hawaii is very much like Malaysia. Okay. Uh, weather, food, right. people, yeah. attitude, <laughs> yeah. We're, so we're very similar. Yeah. And, and so the Koreans, for instance, they came and they, were, they didn't have anything when they came as refugees to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. What do they have? They have a family ethic and a work ethic. Mm. And now you go to Koreans own th the liquor stores and certain kinds of establishments and they all drive Mercedes. And their families stay together and they work hard. Yep. The Vietnamese came the after that, the yep. same. Yep. So you know, being successful in business is not necessarily rocket science. Mm. It has to do with commitment and dedication. Mm. So these tools that I teach, same thing. Yep. In the American, in the in the in a Western entrepreneurial way, but what we try to cultivate are social entrepreneurs, not someone who owns a liquor shop or you know some kind of a some kind of eating establishment. We're talking about people who want to create, be social entrepreneurs and create large businesses that that create that provide good services, mm -hmm. goods or services, provide value right. to their customers. Yep with smart business, which means you have to have a good profit, you have to take care of your employees well so they will stay with you, mm -hmm. you have to retain earnings so that you can grow. Yep. There's all kinds of definitions of smart business, yep. but it comes from being focused on providing value, mm -hmm. not making money. Yep. I'm a young entrepreneur who wants to start up uh, a business, or oh, I've just graduated from college. What, what advice would you give me? Learn how to plan. Okay, so planning. Learn how to plan, number one, and realize that if you realize that financial goals have no value. So when you mean planning, it means literally learning, you know, looking, setting a goal and basically planning towards it. Well, we, the, the planning system that I teach is nothing you'll be able to find in any, in, in any educational institution right. because it teaches you how to become an entrepreneur. Okay. And the educational and, systems don't... And our educational systems teach you how to get a job. They want you to work for someone else. Yep. And so they, this way of thinking is not taught in our school systems. Mm -hmm. not, because they, not because there's anybody up there pulling the strings saying, right. we want these people to be employees. Yep. It's the nature of the, of the system con, the, in the mindset of scarcity. Right. Right. Your parents, they want the best for you. Right. They want you to grow up and get a good job and be yep. secure. Yep. And the whole con the thing is, if you're an entrepreneur, you won't have a, you know, you might make you might make a mistake, you might not make it. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you know, their parent. It's all sincere love, yeah. but it's all it doesn't work. So what's so special? I mean, what can you share a little bit about this planning system of yours? It's a combination of a system that was de developed by Admiral Rayborn and Jim Halcom for the Polaris submarine program. It's okay. totally military, and they needed to have some kind of a system to handle you know, a million tasks. Okay. Like who manages a million tasks? Yeah. Has to be a system. And so they came up with it, and it's called Planning Evaluation Review Technique, PERT. And it's very systematic. And the only problem with it is it considers a human's output as, as, a, as a finite unit. Mm. And, uh, and human output is not finite in the entrepreneurial world. Yeah. And so what I did in, 
in my career I worked with Tony Robbins. I don't yep. he's a he's a motivational speaker. Yep, yep. And I worked with him from the time he was 24 till 28 when he we were doing things called firewalks. And we went from that regional firewalks to a mul to a multi-million dollar certification program in Aspen and that's when Gunty Ranker came in and 5 years later Tony Robbins was the biggest thing on the planet mm -hmm. for a while. And um uh, he uses a science called NLP, Neuro, Neuro Linguistic Programming. Yeah. Very, very powerful linguistic science mm -hmm. to know about. I combined the military yep. planning system with the NLP languaging system and came up with a, pl a planning system that works for the entrepreneurial way of thinking. Mm -hmm. And um, we call it MAP, Master yep. Tracks Act Action Planning, and it allows people to literally go into the future and visualize what they want and describe it in specific language terms mm -hmm. and work themselves back in time, remember what they did, not figure out what they have to do. And it's kind of like doing a dress rehearsal right. of your project before you do it. So then you have you're able to make presentations to people yep. that are going to loan you money. You have to have, you have to be loaned money by either the public sector or the banks to yep. be able to do anything of large scale. Yep. 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 If you're going to do anything of value, you're not going to do it on your own money. Yep. You're going to do it with public money or bank money. Yep. So you have to be able to make presentations and be congruent and let them know you know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. This planning system allows you to do it. Okay. If you do a movie, if you do a play, you don't say, roll and that's it cut and that's yeah. it you have to rehearse right. so why don't people rehearse for business that's right. and this planning system allows you to write the script for your business and you rehearse it in your mind you go over it with all of the people who are going to be part of it you've already come up with the agreements you already have done it in your mind's eye and now when you hit the road in the real physical world you're about three times more efficient and people know where they're going, and more importantly, they're aligned to what they're going to produce. Mm -hmm. They know where they're going. In normal businesses, people just come to work, punch a time clock, and do what they're told. They have no idea what they're, what they're supposed to produce by the end of the day. Just do what they're told. Drive home, go home, and yell at their wife, and you know, yell at their kids, and you know what I mean? Yep. It's, yep. No, no. It's that's the earn a living world. Right. That's the scarcity world. Yep. It's, and it's not a fun way of living. Okay. Randy, one last question. Uh, you know, you've been, in, you've been in Malaysia a couple of times, right? I've been uh, in Malaysia 15 times over the last eight years. Okay. That's, what, what advice would you give our viewers in Southeast Asia, uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, in terms of, uh, you know, many of them will be in different points of their life. What one piece of advice that you would leave with each of us? Well, number one, the Asian, Asia, all of Asia is exploding entrepreneurially the emerging nations and um, there was an article some time ago they're like the tigers of right, you know in, yeah. incredible so there's an there's abundant opportunity here in all of asia and so a young entrepreneur if they want to if they want to break away and be very unique and hugely successful mm -hmm. would number one re realize that making money the goal of making money inhibits them from their success. Mm -hmm. They have to focus on what they want to produce mm -hmm. with the confidence that if they do a good job, money is a part of that and there's no problem with money yep. if you focus on doing a good job. Yep. And then number two, being responsible about it and learning how to do, and learning how to plan and having the, and having the self-respect respect yourself and respect the resources you're going to use to plan take the time to plan and know what you're doing before you do it and then and thirdly if you really want to if you really want to get quote quote big yeah. you really focus on your society mm. providing value to your society as many people as you possibly can mm. and get out of you know I, I, I want them I want my Mercedes you know for myself and all you know if you focus on a huge number of people, yeah. your, your personal needs are small in comparison. Yeah. You'll have anything you want. Yeah. Well, well, Randolph, uh, thanks a lot. Today we've had Randolph Kraft here on the Leader Army Show. Uh, artist, uh, entrepreneur, uh, scout, you know, uh, architect, uh, I can go on and on. I, I want to finish the interview. 
you. You know, you know when you when you have uh, conversations, you meet somebody, yeah. and somebody says, "Well, what do you do?" Yeah. So ask me what I do. What do you? Anything I want. All right. <laughs> and Mr. Anything You Want, here right here on the Leader On Mix Show.